Hello and welcome back to the RBA Premier League Marching Ents. Just wrapped up our Season 7. Uh, had a fantastic regular season. Showing 793 point differential for the season, which is uh, personal best. Um, but fell short with a very, very poor showing uh, in the championship game. And uh, the Retro Bowl was a, a decent point differential, but only 11. Um, Got to be the lowest I've had in quite some time. Under this new update, uh, learning how to play with it. We're going to see where it goes into Season 8. Uh, but uh, really a good season. It's going to be tough here. I know my roster is going to change significantly. We're already up against the salary cap. We've got some uh, some players getting ready to move on. I'm going to do a quick look here to prepare my mind. Um, let's see here. He's Throto Bag's going to probably want 45. So he, he's up this coming draft or this coming year. Um, that doesn't affect me. Gimli the ball. Um, also coming up, his contract's due. Tom Bombadil, I've got to re-sign the guy. He's an absolute stud. Oaken Shield, we've got for another year. Uh, Dwarf Bomb, already up for a new contract. This is the one that's going to hurt the most. I'm fairly certain that Dane Ironfoot is going to have to go. I mean, he's going to ask for additional monies that I just won't be able to afford. Um, so I'm going to be looking for a linebacker, I'm pretty sure. He's played 107 games for me. Um... He's my leading interception and sack total. Uh, he has more interceptions, or maybe it's tied, I believe, if I'd look back at my Hall of Fame at nine. Uh, I may have had one other player with nine. Uh, let's see what is now. Let's see, he's at eight. But he, I, I, need to, I need to hold on to Mary because um, I've got him for another year anyway. He's an absolute stud. Theoden King coming up for, uh, I think, uh, yeah, this is his second season, so he's coming up. Um, just going to have to really see what comes. The The cap space is most likely going to be made up by Ironfoot this year. Unfortunately, there's $27 million there, and he's probably going to need 35 Not willing. I need, I need to sign my quarterback again. I'm not going to go through another uh, situation where I've got a, uh, a quarterback that I'm training, bringing up from nothing. Uh, this this quarterback's too good to let go. But we'll see what what comes here. Uh, I'm not expecting the draft to be stellar. It's probably going to have to come from the free agency. Um, I'm also realizing free agency uh, is not what it used to be. Uh, let's see, like, for example, this linebacker. He's already maxed out on potential. Uh could be a step backwards a little bit, but we'll see. We're going to try to work some magic. Uh, get into the, you know what, do I need to, glad I looked at that. Uh, he's still got two years. Okay, I've got two years on both my offensive and defensive coordinator. So here we go. I will not be accepting any jobs. We are marching ends forever. Fan base has grown. Wonder why my morale went down. Okay, so this is where it's going to get painful. Let's take a look at the roster. We've got a couple of players with expired contracts. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Do I need to get a calculator out, y'all? Dang, Tom Bombadil wants 30 million. Okay, so guys, I have to keep. Let me think through this before I sign anybody. So I've got 50 and 80. I know I've got 80 that I want to keep between Throto and Tom Bomb. I feel like defensive linemen. How bad is this? 
I feel like defensive linemen are the most replaceable. I feel like defensive linemen are the most replaceable because the they don't cost quite as much to start with oftentimes. Same with a defensive back. Hmm. <laughs> are those two the guys I'm not gonna keep after all and I actually keep Iron Sweat with his man. Got 162 coaching credits, so I can really do a lot in the free agency. Start with what I know. I'm keeping this quarterback. Using me a 61. Man, these contract requests and requirements are just absolutely brutal. Can't not go with Tom Bombadil. Down to 31. This is wow. Tight ends are a dime a dozen. So the only way I can take two players with me out of this is to take the tight end and the defensive back. To keep Gimli and that and or keep one of my I want to I want to take as many as I can so that I can trade and get you know get draft picks if need be. Are both of these guys, he's a second round. They're both second round. It almost makes me want to, since I know I can't take all of these players, take for example, um, I mean I can even keep Ironfoot and then trade him to get an additional first round. Oh, he's not, Dwarf Bomb's not worth what? Well, that settles it for me. The only player I have here that is worth first round draft is Iron Foot, and I'd rather take him now and then trade him to get first round value. That's what I'm gonna have to do. Yep, so we're gonna take Iron foot, and there's your team with all that cap space already used up. Someone's gonna have to be traded out again. I, I knew Iron Foot from the start was gonna be my my cap space maker, and that's it. Whew! Better grab a shot of that, right? I might have to make it to Twitter. Man, there's some cap space being eaten up, isn't it? Guys get expensive. Uh, I'm a fan of the um, Patriots method of requiring players who want to continue winning you know, championships to, to take a pay cut. But I'm not, I'm not playing by that. I'm not showing that right now, am I? Uh, man, bunch of expensive guys. All right, let's see what the draft even looks like. I, I, I haven't had a good draft in about five seasons, so. Oh my goodness. He's got good potential. For a defensive lineman right there. Alright, should we... Is it all going to be free agency this year? I'm going to pause it for a quick second, please. Okay, so I didn't want you to have to sit there and just watch me struggle through what I'm going to do here. Um, I've come to a different conclusion than I would have expected. Since... Slam G is in his last year. 
then he's a $30 million cap space, and he's not a five-star. Well, he is just epic. I mean, look at this guy's stats, 108 games, averaging more than 13 tackles a game, or about 13 tackles a game, and has 14 sacks. Um, I think trading him today to make cap space and get an additional first-round pick is going to be my best move. Um, he's a Defensive Player of the Year award winner. Um, Slam G, thanks, man. Thanks for everything you've done. Um, best of luck to you in your in your future here. So, and I've got him marked there. He's in my Hall of Fame. So, oh, the punters get him. Ouch. See ya, Slam G. Thanks, man. See if that was worth it in the long run. So now uh, I've got a linebacker here that I had my eye on. I, I think I like him. I'm going to go with a two linebacker setup here because I don't. This defensive lineman, his tackling's just not high enough. Is that a good? Is that a good call? His tackling's just. They're both four and a half star. Well, maybe I take them both. Maybe I take them both. I could do that too, couldn't I? Because I've got two picks here in the first. Okay. The other option I have right now, I could throw this all into an absolute rebuilding year. And with the update being as difficult as it is, um, maybe this is a cop-out, but I'm wondering if starting... Look at this McCoy guy. So I love this quarterback. He's only four-star, so he'll never be a $50 million deal requirement down the road as I'm looking to cap space. Throw accuracy is nearly all the way up. Arm strength is all the way up. Speed is super low. I'm never going to run with him. This is Ideal for me would be a four-star quarterback that has full throw accuracy potential, full arm strength, and full stamina potential. That's the perfect quarterback, I think, in this league because I think that would keep them at like a four-star. This guy is almost that. But that would mean I'd have to get rid of this legend, Throto Bag the third. Um, who is the perfect quarterback? Except that I don't. I'm paying for speed in his contract, and I don't need that speed. He's never ever running. He's never ever running. Look at his rushing stats: 20 sacks or 20 attempts overall, negative 113 yards. So it's just not what I do. So, what will I do? Uh, I can make a ton of cap space. I can take 50 million, make up another 50 million, and really try to rebuild this team. Um, heck, I feel like that's the direction I'm starting to go. I'm going to pause it again <laughs> and think on it. Stand by. Okay, I decided not to get silly. I am going to take this defensive lineman and this linebacker. And see where that takes me. I, I'm going to keep... This is going to be something I continue thinking about. I've got my current... I've got Throto Bag the third for three years. Um, and I will be thinking on it as I look at these. As I look at the future. Um, do I consider uh, in the next two years drafting a quarterback like this? Making cap space and maybe starting over, if you will... Um, on defense by cutting everybody and dropping cap space. I'm recording my, my thoughts out loud so I can hopefully remember this for the next season or two. So essentially dropping my defense down to rookies um, to make draft space and then also having a backup quarterback such as this Greg McCoy um, so that he has a chance to gain experience um, or sit there and, and be an available option. Man. I really like this quarterback, though. I'm going to have to keep that in mind down the road. But let's not be crazy this year. Let's take uh, this defensive lineman, Clayton Eifert, who will be renamed shortly. And hope he can turn into a, another great. So he is immediately going to become slam-wise... Okay, 
Do they give us room for this again? Ooh, it just he might have he might have a two in there. That looks silly. I guess it has to be a two. Do you put twos in? Oh, I spell slam line. Oh. oh, that's that's silly. I can't change. Hmm. I thought those were. I thought we were able to have more characters in there. Looks like it's not the case. Interesting. And then we'll take, yeah, just not interested in that kind of quarterback. Too much, uh, too low on stamina. Here we go. Could be your team, everybody. Could be your team. We have another good D lineman here. Pretty good, really. Pretty good, really. A second rounder. I gotta need more help in the backfield the defensive backs. don't have a good DB there as an option let's take a look at each of these see which one I like the most all four what come on what? No! Look at this quarterback. Oh, you know what, though? He's five-star potential, which means he costs $50 million a road. Man, somebody's going to... Craven Tucker is going to make somebody happy down the road. Man. Lots of quarterbacks. So, I could use either another defensive back or linebacker here. That's what I'm thinking I need. Let's go with this defensive lineman, Nazaire Shepard. Yes. All right, we're filling out rookies on the defensive line. Probably going to give up more points than I've given up in seasons past, aren't I? Got pretty lucky last year. I'm going to throw a kicker in for giggles since there have been times where I wanted a kicker. These defensive backs are even worth looking at. They are not. That's it. There is your Season 8 pre-Game 1 roster. See what kind of moves we end up making here at the front office. Um, we've got some free agents here. Um... A defensive back that's worth looking at that's for sure so would we consider making room for him um, defensive lineman here that's literally perfect Wow 21 million for three years those are some considerations we're gonna make here but uh, there's your draft for the year here's your roster for the beginning of season 8 um, we'll see what this looks like as we go forward. We're going to keep marching. You keep marching. Peace.